one from the top of the Kennedy Ranges. I woke up early this morning to go and hike the Enscarpment Trail, which is to the top of the Kennedy Ranges. It took us about 40 minutes to get to the top. Really not that hard of a trail, a bit of a steep climb here and there, a bit of rock, cli um, rock scrambling, I should say, not rock climbing. Um, if you don't have a little bit of fitness or flexibility, I probably wouldn't recommend doing this, but this is a good trail to come and do for sunrise as well. I didn't do any filming going up because it was pitch black, but it is beautiful. If you have been to Kings Canyon before, this kind of looks like a mini Kings Canyon. Um, not as not as big, obviously, but it is absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that. Oh, definitely worth it. So. We're going to do this and then we're going to do, I think it's called Draper's Gorge and then Honeycomb Gorge today and then, yeah, that's it. I got some really good pictures of the stars which I have to show you because the night sky last night was absolutely insane. to Draper's Gorge. Um, how'd you find it, Dad? Okay. Interesting. It's, um, if there was water running, it would be very impressive because you can see behind me this pool and then there would be a waterfall and there'd be quite a few other places which have waterfalls and, um, like little pools. I don't think I would swim in that because look at it. <laughs> It looks like something would come out and like eat you from underneath and it just doesn't look pleasant. Um, also there's a really wretched smell around here because there's a lot of dead animals which is also a bit concerning but it is what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah the hike really wasn't that bad either. Um, it's just got a bit of climbing up some rocks and yeah it's just like steep boulder, bouldery type rocks which kind of like these ones. So if you're not that fit probably don't do it but it only took us probably about half an hour to get here if that so yeah maybe an hour and a half walk from the campsite but yeah it is um it is quite pretty and it would be really pretty after some uh like a lot of rain would we recommend that you do draper's gorge yeah what's it take half an hour yeah half an hour definitely it's... do it in the cool I don't do it in the heat. yeah don't do it in the heat because it'll be way too hot, it's only 23 degrees and there's a breeze and it's still quite warm. Um, but yeah, if you can do it after rainfall, it would be very pretty. If it's dry, to be honest, I probably wouldn't do it if it was, there was no rain in the area. It would be a bit, bit of a boring hike. Yeah. <laughs> done every hike that you can do from the campsite starting at the campsite so we've done Draper's Gorge we did the Enscarpment Trail which I highly recommend you do because that is beautiful and definitely do it for sunset and then we also did the Temple Gorge which if I'm being honest only walked the 500 meters to see it because it's quite it's quite boring <laughs> staying at Temple Gorge which is the only campground in Kennedy Range National Park there's quite a few down there. It's kind of just first come, first serve. But um, we've chosen this one and it's a lovely little view of the Kennedy Ranges. Um, it costs $11 per night. And yeah. This is the tiredness because it's early in the morning. Oh my god, the flies are already out. But I forgot to give you guys a little walk through of my little home. Why am I sleeping in a tent instead of my rooftop tent? Because I'm traveling with my dad and I thought um, we're only camping for two nights and I was such a nice daughter and I thought oh yeah he can have the rooftop tent and I'll sleep on the floor. Welcome to my little home. This is my <laughs> two-person hiking tent 
with my really flimsy little mattress and a whole pile of pillows. It was very comfortable. But yeah, anyway, we're packing up and we're gonna go home and come back. meter return walk to Honeycomb Gorge and this is very impressive compared to the other side of the Kennedy Ranges where the campsite is this whole area just seems like more grand and kind of just takes your breath away a bit more so definitely come to this side and yeah look at Honeycomb Gorge how cool is that um, if you do come here, go to the campsite host and see if you can get like a little book on the geology of the Kennedy Ranges because it's really interesting. I'll have to actually remember how this is, pattern is made behind me. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit blown away by this place. Incredible. And there's a little waterfall and there will be a waterfall. Oh, beautiful. We then headed to Mount Augustus, which took us about five to six hours. We were lucky the road was opened up the next day. There were a couple of river crossings, but it was nothing major. Um, the road is fully corrugated, so just be aware of that if you are driving in a van or in a two-wheel drive. It's nothing major, it's pretty well kept. We then headed to the tourist park, which is where we were staying for the night, and got ready to go and watch Mount Augustus at sunset. But we're just at what? What is this called? Emu Hill. Emu Hill, Emu Hill for um, yeah, Emu Hill Lookout for sunset, which is meant to be the best place to watch the sunset for Mount Augustus. Um, we went to Kettle Pool, then we checked into our accommodation, and here's a little um, example of karma. We saw some beer cans on the road when we were driving from Kennedy Ranges to Mount Augustus and we picked them up <laughs> and when we got to our accommodation we got a free upgrade um, for no reason. Well actually there was a reason, they accidentally messed up our accommodation but we got a free upgrade so we're just saying that was karma because we, yeah we're just saying karma because we picked up some, <laughs> picked up some rubbish on the road and if you were travelling Australia don't leave rubbish, don't throw stuff out your car, you know do the right thing and put it in the bin. Come on, people. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to sit here. I'm going to capture some shots, and you can't really see it. I'll get a better video, but yeah, it's really quite beautiful, and this is a good spot to come and see it. It is currently almost 6.30 um, in the morning. We've gotten up early because we're going to go and summit Mount Augustus today. It's a 12 kilometer walk. Uh, it's, I don't really know if it's tough or not. Dad's gonna try and attempt it with me, um, see how he goes. But yeah, that's the plan today. And then we're gonna also go do the loop drive around Mount Augustus and see everything around there but yeah not really much the hike to the summit is the main thing. Mount Augustus is the biggest monolith in the world it's actually bigger than Uluru it's just not as impressive because Uluru is like the one big thing on a flat plain and it's like a particular shape but I think it is pretty impressive when you actually go and see it especially if you go and see Mount Augustus at sunset because that was quite magnificent last night it will be interesting to see what it looks like at the summit because I've never summited something in this type of terrain before so yeah pretty interesting yeah we're just gonna have some breakfast either in our be, little cabin be from the top or halfway up yeah well <laughs> He's, okay. give, he's giving it a go, so good on him. Uh, but yeah, we'll um, keep you updated. Have some breakfast, keep you updated later. Trail. You've got two options to do the summit. The gully, which is harder, and the summit trail. Gully trail is actually closed at the moment. So this is the summit. 
yeah it says not to do it if you unless you've got a reasonable amount of fitness so we'll see how dad goes <laughs> So I've got no idea how far up we are, but this is the view so far. It is pretty much all uphill and let's give a massive shout out to my dad who is just coming over the hill. Oh, she's a fire burn on that part. He's doing well. Oh. Proud of him. How are you finding this so far, Dad? Yeah. Not too bad. Good. Not too bad. Not easy. Rest and take your time. Should get there. to the summit of the world's highest rock or biggest rock I should say the world's biggest rock unfortunately my dad has not been able to summit to the top with me just because the last 300 meters are like this that they're, they're pretty steep I had to climb up using three like three points of contact um, yeah it was just too much for him but solid effort to him because he's would have walked about 11 and a half K today. So I reckon he can count that as he's climbed Mount Augustus because the summit is only a 300 meter up. So yeah, he's done, he's done the majority of it. So we're gonna count it. So congratulations, dad, a big applause to Pete because that is a solid effort from, a, from someone who is 65 years old and who has pretty much no hiking experience. So solid effort. Just gonna take some shots up here, maybe put the drone up, get some shots. And then I'll head on down to meet my dad where he's meeting, waiting for me at the bottom of the side. But yeah, it's quite beautiful. It's just nice to say that you've climbed the tallest rock in the world. Let's give a round of applause to <laughs> Pete! Woo! God, that's the hardest thing I've done for a lifetime. <laughs> How you feeling? Completely worn out. <laughs> Solid see. effort though. 11.4k. Yeah. Oh. Solid effort. So, as a review from someone who's done a lot of hiking, it was hard, but not like strenuous hard just a bit tough on the legs endurance yeah and Great. then for someone who is not a hiker what are your thoughts ah uh, bloody hard <laughs> no it's all right it wasn't too bad just yeah just hard on the legs and feet that's probably why they say this is a yes yeah, so this is an extreme hike it is a full day extremely difficult hike so well done dad it has and that is the elevation in meters. We then went and checked out the Aboriginal artwork, which is around Mount Augustus. This is definitely worth going. All the walks are quite short and quite flat, so they're really easy to do. We then set off and that concludes this video, guys. Like always, if you like my videos, make sure you click the subscribe button and the like button, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.